was given this here molding plane by a friend and I'm gonna see if I can restore it, get her taking a cut again. First thing we're gonna do is <coughs> What does she want, yeah? As I was saying, we're gonna throw it into the vise like this, grab our mallet and just pop out the wedge and that'll allow us to pull out the iron, that fella here. Here we have the iron now, pitted, rusty and blunt. First port of call is to see about that rust. And she be as right as rain. So after the WD-40 and a quick sanding, she brushed up fairly nicely. Obviously there's a lot of patina, but the rust is gone. Now for my own favourite part, we're going to flatten the back of this with the diamond stone here, just by rubbing it like this. Now to sharpen the front bevel, you might have noticed it's not flat, we can't just rub it against the diamond stone. So what we need to do is get a bit of high grit sandpaper here. I have it wrapped around this curve handle of the mallet, and I'm just going to rub it up like that, and that's how I'm going to do my sharpening. Last thing then, just bring it onto the strap to polish it a bit. Now the body of the plane is in fairly good condition, but an old drop of linseed oil wouldn't do it any harm either, so that's how we're gonna do to this. You can see here the wedge is banjax, there's meant to be a head here, so I swapped it out with one from an older plane that was beyond repair. Putting it back together is fairly straightforward. We just drop in the iron from below, grab the wedge from above, hold them into place and just drop down with the mallet. So to test it out, I have a piece of Siberian larch here, but before we can do anything, we just need to square it. So basically these molding planes, they would have been, they're obsolete now, but they would have been used to make all the moldings you'd see around your home. If you look at any old piece of furniture in your house, you'll probably see moldings like this one here, this one around the edge, this one around the panel and this panel and frame door. Even in the kitchen, we can see moldings here, moldings on the inside of this frame, moldings up here. Nowadays we have spindle routers and router tables that will create meters of moldings in just a few seconds, but this is how it was done for hundreds of years. There we go now, nice and square. Well lads, I have it just about set with this hammer here. And once we start taking a shaving, I'm going to try cut the moulding into this piece of latch. So we have it taking a nice shaving now every time. You can hear, you can hear it going. And you can see just how small and wispy the shavings are. Now they should automatically stop taking a cut once they've reached their depth. So we're just going to keep doing this until it's done. You can see there now lads, the moulding's been cut, it turned out beautifully. So there we go lads, like I said before, these things have become obsolete, so there's piles of them all over the place, just gathering dust, rotting, collecting woodworms. Um, so if anyone in Ireland has a few lying about they know about that could be restored, and maybe they'd like to donate them or sell them to me, get on to me on Instagram with emails. See there's a load of different variations of these you can get, so... This is just one of them. I have another one, the smaller one somewhere, but this is the only one I have that's working at the minute, so I'd like to build up a bit of a collection. Go on.